welcome back to the garage everyone i thought i would just give you a quick update video on what's going on here so i got our new antenna in place to replace the old one that i thought had a parasitic draw but hey guess what turns out i still have the draw with this one i took the wiring harness apart and uh, so like here's your ground here's your power if you connect your ground to the ground pin which is right back there and you connect the power there and you connect a trouble trouble light up there to the battery uh, you'll note the trouble light comes on. So we still have a parasitic draw. Uh, so either I have two bad antennas that have the same problem, or there's a issue in the wiring harness someplace else. I found some uh, aftermarket wiring from the previous owner. This red wire, I have no idea what that is, was wired into this part of the wiring of this harness right here. Uh, and then this ground wire was connected up here to the ground loom. These are, I don't know what these went to. Maybe a CB, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so back here, we're still in the same situation. I had noticed along the way that the light, the bottom light on the inside of the door panel was missing. So I was like, hmm, what's going on with that? So, um... What led me there was I was blowing fuses. I was blowing fuse number 15. All right, so blowing fuse number 15. Number 15 is, there's 15 right there. The trunk light, the roof light, front and rear, uh, vanity mirror, safety belt, handover arm, which I don't have, door lights, automatic antenna, warning monitor. So... I have troubleshot all of those things, that entire list. The, the anti-theft system is actually on fuse 15 as well. Uh, and the anti-fuse system in this car is actually right here. I removed it from the passenger footwell. I got in there and it was disconnected. I was like, aha. So I reconnected it. And I tried and I started opening and closing doors and doing some tests. The second I opened a door with the anti-theft system connected, fuse number 15 blew. I was like, oh man, okay. Another thing that is on fuse 15 is the warning system. You know, the warning lights in the dash. Okay, so I disconnected the warning module as well. And I, I connected it, reconnected it, connected the anti-theft, reconnect, you know. I, uh, I tried both of those and ultimately determined there wasn't anything wrong with the warning module, but the anti-theft module was disconnected clearly because it kept blowing fuse 15. So there's clearly a short in that box right there. Okay. Uh, and along the way, I found that missing light over here and I thought, well, hmm, maybe, maybe, and the wire was just dangling inside. And I thought, well, maybe the power wire is shorting out against the door, you know? But that wasn't the case. The power wire has the plastic on it. And the, the ground wire was dangling, but that didn't really, that didn't really matter. And I uh, put a meter on this and checked its operation. There's 12 volts there, and that switch uh, works on the door. So that this works properly. Uh, this <laughs> turned into a sideline project, though, because when I pulled the door off, there was no plastic vapor barrier. So somebody's been here working on this thing before and they didn't put the vapor barrier back in place. I'll just get a, a thick piece of bisqueen or something, and I'll make a uh, vapor barrier out of that and cut holes in it and stuff like that. So I got a little bit of work on this. It'll be a sideline project to get this door back into service correctly with the door panel and everything. And uh, I got one or two broken pla uh, plastic bits in there, not, not from removing the door panel, but they were, you know, they were already that way. So uh, that's a nasty floor, uh, floor mat there. We've got to fix that. Anyway, here's the door panel. You, these, they stuck these dealer-optioned cup holders on it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I've got the cup holder. I guess I'll reinstall it and uh, just go with it. Uh, but uh, I don't know more on that later, I guess. And the trim on this guy, it just got, it's, it's pretty good. It's just got a couple of small cracks. So we've got that going on too, by the way. I'm, right now, I'm working on the dash trim. It's in the house drying. I, I took it apart and uh, took all the layers apart, and I'm, uh, I've got I've got it epoxy together. So it's in the house drying right now. So that's going to be another video as well. But uh, it's been about it's been over a week since I released a video, and I just wanted to give you guys a, a little update on what I was doing. This this parasitic draw is driving me bonkers. 
So I've got that going on. This is what I'm working on right now. All right. I'm trying to figure out where the stupid draw is. And I think maybe I'm going to have to look in the radio circuit next. Although I'm, I'm still not sure. So if any of you guys have an idea of where you think it might be, put it in the comments below. And I will be more than happy to take a look at it. And we can discuss it. And uh, everything will be just fine because eventually we're going to figure this thing out. Hey, listen, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Let you know what's going on with this stupid car. Kind of aggravated right now, but I'll get over it. All right, guys, that's enough for now. I just wanted to give you a quick update. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And look forward to more new cool videos on our W126. We'll talk to you later.